Hi guys, this is Vishal and welcome to this show Jumpstart 2019 and this is my, I'm doing first time and I'm like still nervous about it, it's going to be a 3 hour show and I want your full support. Now what is this video or what is this program all about and I've been regularly doing this, uh, not in this format but I've been doing this in the last 6-7 years with my students or with my community, with my family members and with myself that how you can take the new year and make it the best year of your life. So this we are going to talk about a lot about uh, goal setting, time management, stuff like that and see whether how we can achieve it. What is the difference between most people set goals and everybody set goals. Like you go back and check on your thing like what goals did you set for 2018 which got clicked or done and which is not yet done and how many of how often do you do that so what is the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people or mediocre people that who achieve their goals and don't achieve their goals so this is going to be where i'm going to share how i set my goals how i have been able to click on most of my goals on year by year and some of course you can't miss or have all of them or some life happens, uh, health happens, uh, there can be challenges but you have to keep, its goals are like roadmap and that's what we are going to discuss. So here I want to share something about how I set my goals, how I do my things, how uh, you can do the same thing. So this is my three, four, three hour live video. First of all, this is going to be awesome. So I, uh, let me see, I, I keep going to this phone where I check uh, your comments and your sessions and how many people are live and I want to give you some gifts. Although you can't see, uh, there are some gifts here which I'm going to give you in this 3 hour session. So make sure you watch till the end and it's only for people who are attending live. So if you think your friends are missing it or your family members, so make sure you do it. In fact, I would do something like, last time I did something like where if you are watching this show with your family on a smart TV or, a, or on a big TV then you can click that photo and put it that, put that in the comment section and you might end up winning the gift. So, I want to see how desperate, how much you want to upgrade your knowledge. There are people who are being watching this video live while they are like on the move, on the drive going maybe this is a long kind of not long weekend but a weekend on 31st so most people are going out of town and still they are watching it so make sure you click your photos and put that in the comment section and I have lots of gifts here and uh, there are some physical gifts and there are some uh, online gifts so make sure you are there and I want I can see some comments so now uh, let's start this uh, session this is going to be a long session make sure you have pen and paper take notes make sure you invite more people tag more people into the group even though it's not about stock market don't think it's about trading and stock markets it is for everyone so tag everyone you think of share this video with other groups and other timelines and whatsapp you can take the link out and put it on facebook or put it on whatsapp or uh, even twitter or instagram and ask them to join this show live and you can win some great gifts so we have almost 100 people right now on board and uh, let's start with uh, I want you to uh, now when I check my phone don't think I'm doing like Instagram or Facebook I'm just watching your comments so and I think phone is going to be an important part of your goal because this piece is the kind of a weapon of mass distraction distraction and this is playing a big role in today's world positively as well as negatively because if you use the right way of course it can help you a lot but if you don't use the wrong way it can it can kill your time and that's the only thing we have precious time so let me see what is the what are your top two or three goals in 2019 and in between every half an hour i will take a uh, take the phone and see your questions and i'll answer those questions so uh, you can keep posting commenting questions and uh, i want right now is to make declare some goals declare something which you want to do right now so uh, say hi sandeep hi karan hi himal shah ramesh dolly cheda and there are 
uh, from Pune. And of course, we need to know where are you logging in from. We have people from Pune, Bangalore, Chennai, uh, Mumbai, uh, Batinda, and Hyderabad, Pune, and lots of people online. Yes, so I want you to write your goals inside this chat box right now. Hi Poonam, good to see your friends, school friends, college friends connecting, thank you so much. Uh, okay, so there is one big goal, big money. Okay. Hi Rahul, uh, hi Kishore, hi Yogesh. So, awesome, awesome, Delhi. And we have people from Ahmedabad, Mumbai, right? Massive money, current, yes. Massive goals, repeat 10x program, Rohan and Parag. So now I want you to write the goals and don't talk only about money. What are the other goals? Write down, come on, quickly. It has to be more interaction and we have to, if you stay till the end, my team is watching who's watching live and not and you are going to watch the whole show till 9 o'clock they are going to get some awesome gifts at the end of the session physical as well as online and you know how the you will be surprised by the gift which we have okay so uh 10x 2019 then we have bentley car you want to buy financial freedom improve my health and mind in doing exercises and meditation I want to buy a private jet, oh that's awesome, awesome. Manage my own time, learn as much as you can, become a professional trader, powerful trader, life changing year, all right, great job, great job guys. Want to be a six figure trader uh, and physically fit, of course, you can buy my program called Six Steps to Six Figure Trades. Okay, qualify for Star Club by June 2019, great health, great relationship to become a professional trader, 10 lakh from the market, you can do it like this. Goal, abundance, trading, making money, great job. So now, you have goals, I have goals, what do we usually do? We generally do is, we set the goals, make a list, and after January, after February, it goes down the drain, it goes down the in the book, and you get busy with your life, mostly. Right, so I will teach you goal setting and in a, in a slightly different manner this time. And maybe I can let you can zoom a bit. Uh, I think you can see the screen properly. That would be nice. Uh, all right, we keep sharing. Like we have 157 people right now on board. And if you have click your photos as how are you watching this show from a family group or a member of family, your husband, your wife, your kids and everyone your team watch click that snap inside and put it inside the comment box and i will uh, make sure you get some gift today for sure <coughs> so so let me start today it's going to be um, all right so this is my uh, a different way of goal setting which i want to do right and how this is going to be different of course uh, i have made some awesome stuff for you to refer to so let's get started with the ones which we have right now is going to be first let's we going to decide this in terms of uh, let's say we want to have something called as themes now what do you mean by themes themes is like you know how uh, you decorate your house there's a theme to it you decorate your or office or you have birthdays and weddings and there are themes to it like I am my my daughter's birthday is something called as princess theme or some uh, Disney theme something like that so you know what is a theme right so it's kind of an environment so where we are going to discuss that okay what are the themes of our goals right and what exactly mean by all of them are S the first one let me start with is going to be uh, I would say is shine. Now, what do I mean by shine? Shine means where you are already doing great in life, which is working super. You want to shine further, means I want to do best, like I'm already good at it. So, let's say I'm going to discuss my life, I'm going to be open about my challenges, my goals, my stuff, so that you get the reference and you can do the same thing. And I hope you're taking 
taking notes and make sure you keep writing along with me. So what does do mean by shine? So let's say in my life, I am great right now in the last few years because of my consistency and my learning. I'm doing great. I think I'm doing great in terms of my uh, uh, trading and in terms of my uh, uh, my live events, which I do live events. And so live events, like if you know my program, like anybody can trade, start in a program, options mastery, uh, uh, money flow trader, millionaire trader program, all these are live events which are doing consistently since so many years. And we get packed houses and deliver value and people transform and people make money. So, and if you have attended any of my live events, you can comment in the section that what all live events you have attended once, twice, thrice, some of you might have done it two, three times. Keep commenting and trading. Yes, uh, this year was this year was especially special because uh, we had a good crash. And why am I happy about it? Because that's when we make money. <coughs> Sorry. So crash uh, in September. One mini crash in February after the budget. So it went well. So I want to master. Uh, so I want to shine further there. So I'm doing great. So how do you think? What is the next level? Remember this thing what I just said, what is the next level, very important question you can ask yourself in every area. So if I'm doing great here, so I say what next, how, how, how I can get into the next level. So when I do live events, I'm doing live events uh, across India. So this time I'm thinking how I can do, in, uh, last year I did in US, this year I'm thinking how to do in Singapore or Australia. And maybe how I can improve my live events from like 200 people or 300 people to 500 people or 1000 people. Uh, so that's my next level. Okay. So I, I hope I, I, I guys clear with that. What is your shine area? You can type that in the chat box and let me know what is your shine area and how you're going to improve that. So my goal about trading and live events is going to be shine, which is theme is shine. I want to do better. What next level? Okay. And I can also talk about, let's say, my uh, uh, relationship with my family or my wife and my kids. I'm doing great there, so now I'm thinking what next, how next, how I can take it to the next level, how I can improve my relationship, how I can spend more time with my kids, how I can spend more time in their education or in their upbringing. So that's my shine area. So you have to get into that theme of shine, right? And if you have comments uh, in your, what is your shine area, keep commenting in the chat box and I'll keep reviewing that. I, I, are you guys loving this? Let's say, is it worth uh, just the start of it, but we are going to go a long way. And at the end of it, I will tell you how do you reach those goals which you are going to set. Make sense? So, this is about trading, live events, wife and kids, all good. So, my relationship, my uh, business is doing great. Now, let's say about strength. Now, this is the second word, what I am talking about is strengthen. Here I want to shine because I'm doing great. Here I want to strengthen because I just started doing it. This is the difference. So um, let's give me give my example, give my example, my goals. In this year, 2018, I started doing online programs. So I want to strengthen that. I already released six online programs. And some of them are zero to zero online options, man, options program, six steps to six figure trades, high performance trader, power patterns, and three ways to predict the market crash, technical analysis course. All this are my online power patterns. So all this is going. We just started this year. How I can make it better and better in this next year? Which are the programs I'm going to live? Um, I'm going to release in 2019. That's what I'm focusing on. That's one. Second, my strength, uh, I need to strengthen is my uh, team. So far, I had like, till last year, we were working like four people, two people, three people, four people. Now we have almost 10, 12 people in the team and we are looking to hire more people. So how I can strengthen the team? We are mostly all youngsters who are like 22, 24, 25. So how we can build a career or build them into this business so that they last long in the 
organization and they also reach their goals along with my goals which I have set for the organization. So I want to strengthen my online program, I want to strengthen my team. So we have a team of people now because we do a lot of uh, uh, online programs. So we have a team for websites and web designers and we have a team for camera and video and editing and all that stuff plus a lot of uh, admin work with thousands of students across India and across the globe. So that's my team. So I need to build the team. So that's main area where I'm going to look at. So now you want, I want you to share that which is your area where you are going to strengthen. We just started last year and you want to go deeper and go stronger in that. So I'm, I'm just, I finish this part and then I go to the comments and I might give you the first gift for today. So, and if you're liking this, you can give me some thumbs up, give me some energy because this is online, I'm talking to a camera. Uh, so I need more energy from you guys in terms of thumbs up and in terms of uh, 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 hearts. I like hearts. I like thumbs up, I like hearts, so give me those more of them. Yes, I can get some of them, I can see them. Thank you so much. So, are we clear? This, this is how you think through that how 2019 is going to be um, a different year than 2018. So, let's say this, the last part is going to be uh, a start and a stop. Start and stop means what? I will start doing something which I have not done in 2018 and I will stop doing certain things which I want to which is kind of a bad habit or kind of delegate something someone so that I can focus on my core thing. So how and in this theme and in my personal area of course I need to work on my health. So I need to focus on health. This year I am going to start focusing on health and get my health goals done and you know you can see that i need some some kind of help right some some kind of work there right so i'm going to do that 2019 is about starting about health and i want to start uh i although i you can see this library it's like just a small part of my books but i have uh, used another library at home and some other books lying here so uh i need to start maybe reading more maybe i can say i would go reading here in strength and i already read but need to read more and I will stop my maybe uh, kind of a bad habit, let's say kind of uh, stop tea, coffee. Uh, how many of you are like uh, addicted to tea, coffee and you want to reduce that, maybe you can stop or maybe slowly slow down and then completely stop. Completely stop doesn't work in one shot because it's the brain how it works. It has to go slow and steady. So that's where I'm focusing on start and stop. I want to start doing uh, international seminars in a professional way. I want to start getting more uh, kind of uh, expertise from other areas of, uh, of other people into my business. Right, so far I've been teaching all personal development, everything in my domain, plus technicals and masters and uh, technicals and training and all. So I want to get more people on board who can, who are expert in their area, like NLP, like uh, business coaching, like uh, uh, parenting. So all those people have to start getting there so that I can have a kind of whole one-stop shop for all your problems, all your solutions, right? So that's my start game. So I hope this structure will define that where I want to shine further, where I want to strengthen further, and where I want to start doing certain things or stop doing certain things. Am I making sense? And let me share or let share that what you want to stop or what you want to start now as part of this thing. So let me go and see some comments and give you some uh, gifts. Let's say, I'm going to check that. And it's like more than 200 people are there online. And I appreciate, I thank you so much. I hope I'm doing justice to your time, effort, money. And of course, not money involved. Maybe your internet is getting used. <laughs> Uh, yes, so no addiction for tea, coffee, I love tea, want to slow down, uh, Prashant, Asha, myself, stop having fast food, okay, Let's strengthen, learn tea, uh, start, start reading more books on technicals, Geo Phillips, and start jogging and walking, Parak Storewala, and uh, you have, it is, it is a novel gift to us that you have decided to do this session. Thank you 
you so much. I appreciate that comment. And consistent profit, nice interior. Thank you so much. This is our new studio, and this is my first show live on this studio. This is only for you guys, so that I can do better shows. That's why I can say strengthen, right? And learn to be a pro trader. Big lights, shine area is managing my insurance team next level. Nitin, I want to master options trading. Okay, so let's give the first gift for today. I want to master options trading. Suyo Shet, if I pronounce it right, Suyo, and uh, I am going to give you options online program called Zero Zero Online Program, Zero Zero Options Program. It's valued at fifteen thousand rupees, and you get it completely free. So my team will get in touch with you for that. Okay, Zero Zero Online Options Program, and it have also has ultimate option strategy, which is the best part of that. Okay, so that's the first gift for today. Okay, let me see more gifts for you. Okay, I want to see some new faces so I can give you the gifts here. Yeah, uh, it is Manu Agarwal. It is difficult to stop a bad habit. However, we can replace it with good habit, like replace tea with buttermilk. Great suggestion. I like that suggestion. I can do that. And Manu Agarwal, you get one free ticket to my anybody can trade program. Three day lives, live program in Mumbai, Bangalore, and Chennai. Ideally, you should attend Mumbai, which is happening on third, fourth, and fifth of January next week. So Manu Agarwal, you get a message from my team, or you can write it to contact at malkanji dot com. So thank you so much. So let's continue. What there is some more. It's just the beginning. And you guys are awesome. I want this is my usual stuff, like 200 people. I want to reach 500 people, and I know you guys can do it. So I want all you 200 people to share this video right now with as many people as possible, so that they can come to get. And I hope this will help them. If you think they, if this will help them, make sure you share. Sharing is caring, and make sure you tag them and bring them here. I hope you are watching with your team and your family members. So. Now, if you see this one, where I put this shine, strengthen, and uh, start stop theme, and in between, if you see this one, this circle, and that circle says have fun. So this is the most important thing. Now, if I if I want to shine in my trading and trading and events and with my wife, I need to have fun. I need to have. That's the theme of everything. That's the common theme for everything. And if I want to strengthen my online programs, I want to I want to have fun. If I want to strengthen my team, I want to have fun. If I want to start focusing on my health, I want to have fun. If I want to stop doing tea coffee, I don't want to be a kind of a crib. Oh, I don't want to have tea coffee. Or I'm cribbing about it. I have fun. I replace it. I do it in a fun way so that when I do it, otherwise, if you don't have fun, you don't do it well, right? If you see that, although I'm shit nervous right now. To do this three-hour live session, but at the same time I'm having absolute fun, right? If I don't have fun, I can't manage or sustain this energy. And those people who attended my three-day program or six five-day programs or four-day programs, I talk from morning eight o'clock till five o'clock with more than energy like this and stage and dancing and jumping just because I'm having fun. Otherwise, it's not possible to do this so regularly. So. I hope this is one basic thing clear for you guys that shine, strengthen, start, start, stop, and in between have fun. I hope you guys are taking notes. Even you can click a picture of your note and put it in the chat box. That might make you win a gift. So thank you so much for sharing and keep commenting, keep going on with live comments and keep sharing this thing. So let me take take you to the next step. After you have uh, put these things in place. Let me take you to the next one, which is uh, all right. So okay, I, I might uh, let let me just give you a warning or a kind of a request that there might. This is the first time we're doing in this studio. This is the first time I'm using this kind of a fancy board, so I'm not very used to this. So I might go wrong on internet. I might go wrong on the board. I might go wrong on the phone or the live Facebook. So if I go wrong, 
I apologize in advance and second, if it happens, I will get back live in just one, two or five minutes. So keep logging in on once I go off in case if it happens, in, the, in case the battery goes off or in case this goes off or the light goes off or whatever happens. It's technology, right? So I just give you a suggestion for that. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Now, I want to focus on which are the areas. Now we have the themes. Now we need to have the areas which we want to focus on and what are the areas we will focus and how we can set goals for each because life is a balance. If you just talk about uh, money, money, money and you don't focus on your health or your relationship or your or energy or productivity, it will not work. Or you just focus on your relationship and not focus on the money, then it will still suffer. So you need to balance everything and how you can be an overall success rather than being one successful in one area and not successful in all other areas right so let's how see how we can balance this thing so uh, let's start with what are the what are the other areas of uh, what are the areas that we need to focus okay the first one i think the most important is i want you can write the whole thing uh, is called relationship right relationship and then we want to talk about uh, is energy and we want to talk about productivity and we want to talk about money yes that brings a smile on you yes and uh, we don't want to talk about the most important part which i will tell you later so all this are connected and how we can raise our game in each of this domain each of this area so Guys, we are just around 200 people. I need your support to reach that 500 tape, 500 level, right? Keep sharing, keep submitting, keep commenting. I know some people must be traveling, some people have office, just still coming up. So it's going to go on till 9 o'clock. I don't know how long I can talk. Let's see how it goes till 9 o'clock. So I'm going to give my best shot, right? <coughs> And of course, you can watch this again. It's going to stay here on this Facebook page. So you can come revisit and engage and keep learning again and again. That's the idea behind this. So let's start with relationship now. In relationship, it is about, if I ask you, I had uh, a question, right? Uh, any relationship or any uh, equation between two people, let's say, uh, let's say a male, and a female. I'm just giving an example. It can be male and male. It can be kids, wife, husband, everyone. So when we say that if it's an equation, what should be the ratio of like what we say give and take? Is anyone comment that and let me see who gives the right answer. And let's say who gives the right answer. Okay. Uh, you have logged in from our office, Samit Bansali. You get a free ticket to anybody can train in Mumbai. Uh, 3, 4, 5 January and my team will get in touch with you. Samit Bansali. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so if you tell me this equation, how does this work? What is the ratio between give and take? How much? Oh, there's something, some answers coming. 80, 20, 50, 50, uh, 50, 50, 50, 50, 60, 40, 70, 30, give and take. Okay. And 50, 50 equal 100 versus 100 50 50 okay so uh okay great is in watching in mobile so that's good so mostly people have said 50 50 now let me tell you this thing when 50 50 means mostly people say 50 50 means what let's say uh, uh i'm buying something like a phone okay so i'm giving uh 20,000 rupees for this phone and I get this phone. So it's like equal exchange, which is like a transaction, right? Now remember I spoke about relationship, not transaction, right? And the answer to that question, if you get this thing right, your all relationship problems can solve. And the, and the answer is, let's say if it is with me and my wife or me and my son or my daughter, it's going to be, let's say, 100 versus zero that means i'm going to give my hundred percent and expecting zero percent that's relationship if i give something and if i expect something 
that's a transaction that's business that's not relationship you look at how, how it, the best example is mother's love no matter how much you hate your mom how much you get irritated by your mom but mom loves you unconditionally right that's total that's the true relationship and i want to consider do having the same kind of relationship with all your family members all your friends and everybody so that's where the relationship is there otherwise if you are thinking that okay i have to give this much now i have to wait how much i get let me say this and let her say this so that's not going to happen that's transaction that's not that's business right so this is the best thing i can tell you and this has changed my mindset and this is how i am able to have uh, my relationship in my shine area because of this principle i learned long time back and that's working great for me and if you agree on this say i agree on this and i love this and i'm going to do that keep commenting in that and give me some hearts this is for relationship right all right so that's the first thing what you have to talk about is give and take is 100 versus zero you give your 100 percent expect zero percent your relationship will be absolutely fantastic and this the see the glow the rule of life the golden rule of life is what the more you give the more you get right but when you give you don't have to expect to get it and when you have that kind of an intention you will get more than what you give and that happens in every area of life and this is this is the main lesson which we need to learn even in business even in in life even with kids i need the same thing to my son the more you give and that's why i like what we can say like last session i had on facebook uh, which is uh, last tuesday technical talk 50th episode I gave away like seven, eight tickets to anybody can trade. I just gave a couple of here right now. Each ticket is like 25, 30 thousand uh, rupees to attend that three-day session, and I gave it free. And some people actually commented that why are you giving so much of free stuff? And I want to tell you one more thing before you start 2019, start the year on a generous note on giving away. The more you give, the more you get. Right? I know when I give more like this, what I'm doing. Now people question why are you doing this? And I have to I have to put my team here for whole day till nine o'clock so that the thing goes smoothly. I have to sacrifice my time with my wife and my kids and my family and myself because I know the more I give to my students, the more my, my followers and fans which they are looking for, the more I get them love from them, support from them, and of course they do and they come and attend my programs and do my do business with me, some of them do business with me. So that's the give and take. What goes around comes around. That's a famous quote which I learned in BNI. So give, 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 and you will get in amazing proportion without beyond your expectation. Right, and that's what has happened for me in life so far. Thank you so much. It's the 100 plus one. And let's say what are the other rules uh, we can have in relationship. Now, in relationship, if I can talk about is like, can be a ground rules for you, something called ground rules. Like you can have, like we have set some ground rules, like uh, me and my wife have done this for the last 12 years. And we, like the ground rule for uh, my marriage or my relationship is no challenge, no problem to be taken over about 24 hours. Means if I have a challenge with my wife, I will talk to her today not after six months and then I remember oh you did this and oh you did that and all that stuff and that's how it builds up and that's how the problems happen in this age of uh, so much of social media and all this thing the marriages are becoming more like fickle and more uh, fragile so that's where we need to have some ground rules that okay I have ground rules for my team and ground rules for my son that my son this ground rule is that no matter what uh, what you do means if you do a bad job like you you break something or you hit someone or something the idea the ground rule is immediately you will come and accept that you have done this and i will not tell you anything not shout at you but if i come to know later that you did this thing then you will get something so and that thing has so much ingrained in him and i'm so proud of that that whenever he messes up something 
and immediately comes and accepts that. I mean, that's the biggest thing we have. I have taught him, I think, which uh, is accepting your mistake, and that's the ground rule. So I want to set some ground rules. Whether you are into a relationship or you are into uh, your team management with your fat friends and family and all these things, so that will work great if you can follow some ground rules on your relationship. Make sense? Yes. And then we have something like uh, other rules. This I can talk about on is say let go. Now when I say relationship, I don't mean relationship only with other people. I want you to have an excellent, excellent relationship with none other than yourself. You yourself, you need to have best relationship with yourself. And how usually we don't have that relationship with ourselves because you know what? We are very very critical of our own self. Mostly, if you can, if I can say yes, if you agree on this, then we always keep creeping about why oh, I didn't do this. I should have done this better. I could have done that. I could have achieved this. I could have uh, made that money or all that stuff. Uh, and you always have this resentment that I, I should. Or you are always envious of others that he's better than me. So this is the main challenge. You need to be absolutely having fantastic relationship with yourself, and that will happen only and only when you let go of all the things which you have done so far. So how often do you let go? Simple. Every single day. Every day before you go to bed, just think about the things which went right, good. Think about think about the things which didn't go right, good, and say, okay, let go. I, you are, rather than thinking I would have done better, I would have made this money or I would have done that trade or I would have spoken this thing to my wife. Let's say, let go, let go, let go and be 100% clear and, uh, and meet with yourself for the next day. So, and that the same thing you can do, let go with everybody else. Like suppose you had a fight, your car got bashed with a, a rickshaw wala and you had a fight with him and you are upset for 3, 4, 5 days which will result in being upset with other family members, business, everything and rather than say okay at night whatever best thing can happen, happen it's done, now no point repenting, let go let go and you will have amazing relationships so with everyone, make sense? I hope you are getting value alright, great stuff and okay and let me see one uh, more thing is Sometimes you need to ask, or not sometimes, but all the times. So what happens is when I say uh, ground rules, when I say ask, when I say let go, all this is what is kind of communication, miscommunication or communication gap or, or lack of communication. So most challenges people face in relationship is because of lack of communication or miscommunication. So if you have a challenge, if you want something, if you are expecting something from someone, especially your husband, your wife or kids, you need to ask. You need to be open about it. You need to tell them that this is what I want. Sometimes we we are assuming and thinking. Let her let let her tell me what what I want. Let her come from her own side. But that's not happening. You need if you want something, tell her. If you want something from your son, that tell her that you need to do this. You don't, you expect something without telling the other person, and then you get upset that oh I should have done this. He knows I like this. If you like this, then tell him that I want it. Then you'll get it. So ask is one thing and that's going to change your relationship. And of course, uh, one last thing you want to talk about is touch. Especially with your uh, wife, with your, with your spouse and with your kids and with your parents. Uh, touch in terms of uh, high fives and maybe hugs and kisses and all that should be done regularly because physical touch is a big healer and that keeps the relationship strong. So make sure you do it often and every single day and only with your wife okay I, I, am i clear on that oh okay so so that's about relationship and and let me know which was the best advice out of all this in relationship comment in the section and i'll i'll give some more gifts let's have some people on board yes 24 hours ground rule is a great is a great thing. Praveen Katare, okay. Praveen Katare, you get one. Uh, what do I give from here? Let's say I'm going to give you something from here. It's uh, there's a there's T-shirt. It's called Star Trader 
uh, it's a Malkaji t-shirt and it has written star trader on this. If you are a trader and if you are not a trader, you can still become a star trader by wearing this. So make sure you just post your size and my team will get in touch with you and they will courier you or wherever you are, they will send you this t-shirt. So star trader t-shirt from Praveen Katare and this is and that's let's say more uh, be generous. Let go is the great rules. Excellent stuff. Can anybody do auction? Anybody, yes, anybody can do auction. First come for anybody can trade and then come for auction. Give 100% without condition. 100% if I5 am and becoming an awesome trader. So expectations and detach yourself. And Akash, let's let go because we keep learning every day. Awesome stuff learning, thank you so much. And I'm sad that we're still at around 200 people. You guys are talking, sharing, but not sharing with people. Let's, let's get 300, 400 people by end of this session. And, and we're still to cover many parts and I'm going to give you a roadmap of things, how you can go there and reach your potential. So, Star Trader T-shirt has gone. I have a few more things, don't worry. Keep, keep logging in there and I'll talk about more stuff. So, let's talk about relationship done. Now, let's say, okay, let me just get rid of this thing. Oh, wow, this is amazing. So now I'm going to talk about is, I'm going to be here about energy, which is, you see, energy. And then in energy, what are the energies you have? Like you have physical energy, you have uh, spiritual energy, you have mental energy, and you have emotional energy. Right? Four types of energies you have and you know what I have learned from so many programs, online programs and offline programs I have done. The easiest to change your energy is the physical energy. If physical energy means what? Like as I said, a, a hug or a kiss or, or even a clap or, or a jump. Like if you want to just change your energy, just do 10 jumping jacks. I can't do right now. But if you do that, your whole energy changes. Physical energy changes, other energy changes automatically. Suppose you are feeling sad mentally and you are down and out and you had a loss in stock market and then you want to change your energy, just jump around, go for a walk, jump and your energy changes. So physical energy. Then we talk about spiritual energy. The best thing to do spiritual energy like many of you must be doing is uh, meditation. Uh, I, I prefer doing uh, visualization than meditation. Uh, and I would do affirmations like saying positive, powerful, affirmative statements. So uh, let me give you my best affirmation. Are you guys ready? Uh, so say I'm ready in the comment section and keep writing, keep taking notes is the best affirmation I use every single day is that there is always a easier, simpler and cheaper solution to all my problems. Is that powerful? There is always an easier, simpler and cheaper solution to all my problems. So this is my affirmation which I do every day. So suppose I get stuck anywhere and I am not able to figure out then I use this affirmation and I'll find it easier, I'll find a cheaper, I'll find a simpler solution to anything. Like, like for example, I was terrified of trading options using the usual way most people trade, which is the Greeks and Delta and Gamma and all. So I thought there has to be an easier, cheaper and simpler solution and somehow I got I found that solution and now I trade options simply. I can teach options to my 10 year old son. In fact, he knows already. So this is this affirmation works like law of attraction, visualization, whether you believe it or not, it's a different science altogether. So I would suggest affirmation, visualization, meditation, processes, all this kind of stuff. And there are so many free processes on YouTube and visualization exercise on YouTube. Uh, we do a visualization exercise in our program called Anybody Can Create Live in, with 200 people. And we do a lot of affirmation in all our programs and the best program is, the best affirmation which we do about money is I love money. And say in, in the comment section you can use I love money or I'm an intelligent trader, I'm a smart trader. All that affirmation works very well. So physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, all kinds of energy can be healed with certain exercises. 
you can work on like uh, uh, what we call as uh, uh, the power, that subconscious mind thing, processing, healing. Best is physical. Mu music is suddenly you start the music, your favorite music, and the emotion, the energy changes. So you have, and let me tell you one last thing about energy. Okay, there is no energy which is stored anywhere. Neither even the power plant does not have energy. Power plant generates energy. Okay, so you can generate energy. It's not stored somewhere. This is not a store of energy. I have to generate energy every day to talk this much, to do so many videos. And even if I'm not in the mood, I can think about a good thing, good positive thing, and I'm go get back to my energy. I get back to my power, enthusiasm. And, when, and especially when you have goals, as soon as you think about my goal, I think about my goal, I get energy. I think about my vision for my team, my company and my myself, I get energy. I think about my kids, I get energy. So it's 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 a energy game which you have to manage and you can generate more and more energy on your own. You need to have some triggers, some triggers. Now let me give you one trigger, like is what I call as what I learned from one of my gurus is called door trigger. Door trigger is what, how do you use door triggers? Is as soon as you uh, you, you enter so many doors, like you enter your house, when you enter your home, when you enter your office, when you enter your car, when you enter a plane, when you enter a, a, a rickshaw, everywhere there's doors, right? So once you have a door, what you can see is immediately before you enter the door, you keep your eyes closed and energize yourself. When I enter my home, that I'm going to be the best father, best husband, and then and th think about it for a couple of minutes and get charged. And then I enter my office and I say, I'm going to be the best uh, trader or trainer. And when I enter my seminar hall, before I just close my eyes and say, okay, I'm going to rock the stage and people are going to love it. And that's how I do it. When I enter the studio, I'm going to close my eyes and say, trigger, I'm going to do a best job of my capacity. That's called door trigger. Uh, do you like those door triggers? So you can use that. If there are any new doors, you can mention that. I use the common doors which, you, which I generally enter. Okay, so we, we need to manage this energy stuff very well because without energy, you can't do anything. Without energy, you can't have good relationship. Without energy, you can't make more money. Without energy, you can't have good uh, relationship with your any team member. You can't do anything what you love, right? Make sense? So let's get to energy. And we are still around 206 people and your knowledge sharing is the biggest gift which we all receiving today. Thank you. Uh, I deserve massive money, goods, goods, do good stuff. The magic book, gratitude. Yes, I want to at con attract more trading opportunities. Good going, love trading, my name, income is constantly increasing. I am successful, money, money. Yes, your knowledge sharing is amazing. Thank you so much. And for doing this, I love money, I'm an intelligent trader. Okay, great. Great energy, thank you so much. Learning a lot from you. I'm ready to learn new skills every day to become a successful star trader. I love boring money. Jagjit Singh, uh, Jagjit Singh, you are going to get something today. And let me give you, uh, um, okay. Let me give you one free ticket to Anybody Can Trade Mumbai, 3rd, 4th and 5th of January. It's 28,000 plus GST on the website, you get it absolutely free. 3rd, 4th and 5th of January in Mumbai. Or if you can't come, you already attended, give it to someone else, no problem. Right, Jagjit Singh. Alright, so let's get started with the next one. and. Uh, spoke about energy, spoke about relationship. So let's go to the next part of it. Is called. Uh, let's start with this one. Is called. Let's. It's called productivity. Now, what is productivity? Now, you know, number one challenge in everybody's life right now is productivity. It's not about money. It's not about health, it's not about opportunities, it's not about business, it's not about recession, it's not about the economy, it's not about the resources, but it's about productivity. And what is productivity? It is to utilize all your resources, which is your time, most importantly, in the best possible manner. 
and number one reason we can't utilize our time in the best possible manner is this this mobile this gadget which is there with you some of you are watching this good and some of you are watching live on phone but you are using it wisely it has tremendous amount of problem number one challenge right now in everybody's life is distraction so how do you get more productive and get more things done like people ask me that how are you managing all these things so i do a lot of training and trainings live seminars online videos videos online program at the same time spend a lot of time with my family go for holidays and write a book and and lot of stuff together it's about managing the things and how i use this i'm going to teach you right now which is number one thing you should do so that every everything else can change right so let's get thing is productivity is going to be first thing you need to understand about productivity is something i love to teach and i do it's called sorry let's change the color now okay so low inform diet although i don't do the regular diet but i follow low information diet is which is no news papers no news channels no discussions no gossiping no time at all for that and uh, no much of whatsapp most of the groups if you add me in a group i'm out of the group in next two days so no whatsapp group no facebook no. of course i use facebook for what i'm doing right now uh, but otherwise less of it so that's low information diet i don't want to read newspapers i don't want to read or uh, watch news channels although i appear on most of the channels uh, most of the business channels almost every day like today also i was there on cnbc tv 18 for a show but i don't need it neither for my general knowledge or neither for my market knowledge or or finance knowledge because what we teach and what we learn is about technical analysis which is price is a leading indicator so that in, you don't need those external factors to make money in the market and neither you need newspapers why do you need newspapers what's the point when you read newspapers you are thinking you are reading about other people you are either there is a famous very old quote which i learned long time back which hit me something like in my head like poor people talk about people average people talk about events and great people talk about ideas so when you are gossiping if you are talking about other people what they are doing poor average people talk about events like cricket sports bollywood and politics all this going on they are talking about other people's event i am not interested i don't know who's the captain of india right now and i don't bother to because that's not my domain right so i don't care about what kind of government is there or it doesn't matter you have to work on what you want in life right so that's how it is now do you even think of uh, all this big uh, uh uh channels and all these people debate about bjp and congress and all that and uh, all these people do you even think uh, that big guys like ambani think about who's the government i don't think so no matter what you talk about congress or bjp or any other people they all are still going to talk and watch on jio wifi do you understand the business so you need to do your goal let other people do their stuff so no time for gossip no time for uh, internet no time for uh, anything apart from my goal if your goals are very clear you don't want even feel like having it the only thing only people who watch so much of tv and newspapers you know because they don't have goals in life they are not clear on what they want and why they want so that's why they they suffer otherwise if you are very clear i don't even have time or if i want to watch newspaper read newspapers or watch tv i don't have time because i have so many things to do you understand what i'm making sense yes or no so low information diets and i challenge you that if you can do this 30 days next 30 days if you take this challenge of low information diet stop newspaper stop news channels all the complete tv out of your life and remove all your whatsapp group and uh, maybe remove if you are not using facebook for your business then remove it and then see 30 days whether you have a better life or not i can guarantee that okay and that will increase your productivity like anything make sure you do that are you guys ready for the challenge make sure you have the challenge yes or no 
keep guys sharing and I haven't heard any pick from you so I want a pick if you are watching this and put a pick inside the chat box and let's see who, who gets the gift right now alright so that's my low information guy first tip to have more productivity second tip to have more productivity is to have something like what we call as block time block time means what? what is block time? block time means suppose you have uh, um, you have one thing to do like there are people who do multitasking and they say okay I am writing a mail and I am talking to a person at the same time watching TV or eating all this or maybe doing multitasking together and science says that multitasking reduces your efficiency and affects the brain right but sometimes we feel proud okay I am doing so many things so what I, my suggestion to you is instead of multitasking we need to do something what we call as serial tasking means one thing at a time so even I do many things but not many things at the same time so when I am talking to you I am talking to you right now as it is it's a live show I can't do anything else but otherwise also when I am recording video I am focused on recording videos when I am when I'm training I am training I'm tra when I am training I am training or when I am writing a mail I am writing a mail so when I have my content like I have a block time to design what I am going to talk here so I like lock myself into 2 hours into a room and discuss and design all the things which I want to talk that's my block time I want to watch videos I have so many videos from all my gurus and all my trainers and all my coaches and mentors so I have a block time that okay I will watch 4 hours of videos now and, up and get that skill done so block time is very important you can block the days also like if there are people who do like Monday is for marketing Tuesday is for operation the Wednesday for administration stuff like that you can do that all that ideas can be done so you can block as for your business as for your stuff right so block time is one more thing and I want you to do is something what we call as uh, this this thing called 1991 now this is very important this I learned from Robin Sharma if you have heard about Robin Sharma and it's the one of his favorite technique called 1991 which says you have first 90 minutes of your day for the next 90 days you are going to work on the one most important project in your life and see how things change right block time 1991 so let's say you have this you want to learn trading for example uh, so what you want to do is the first 90 days of first 90 minutes let's say you start your day at 7 o'clock so 7 to 8 30 90 minutes you are going to focus on trading or learning or reading or watching my videos and that you will do for 90 days in a row and see how things change dramatically in that area in that goal it can extend to uh, 120 days or 180 days depending on the project depending on the thing what you want to do let's say you want to focus on the health on the health part let's say focus 90 minutes of your first 90 minutes of the day for next 90 days on your health yoga meditation gym everything and see how it transforms your life and then you can have cycles of 90 minutes first 90 minute project one second 90 minute project two pro third 90 minute project three what do you mean project Life is a project, they are full of projects, relationship is a project, uh, business is a project, health is a project So you handle it as a project like what I need to do to reach where and how I am going to reach there with what all things I have So that's your 1991 tip and that's going to be one thing which you need to focus on And let's say you want to talk about, let's say most importantly or it's about habits so it's, you, you need to, if you are to be productive, you need to change your habits and the habits like the, the whatever things I need to stop like habit is reading newspaper is a habit, you have to stop it reading, watching TV is a habit even if you, you get tempted to watch and you have to break that habit and one, successful people have good habits and let me give you one most important uh, habit of all successful people ever and I have spoken to them and I have interviewed many of the successful people I have read their interviews and number one habit which comes out for most people is you know what? reading this is my book but 
you have you can read my book but i read so many other books and you can see that library which is not shown properly here it's it's full of books and there are so many other books which i had so nowadays you have kindle you have audio book you have video book and kinds of stuff but reading is number one habit of all successful people you need to change your habit and that itself will become productive like everyone including warren buffett to to bill gates to ramdev agarwal to any one of successful people not only in the finance field but anywhere reading is number one habit so change so i want you to comment that which are the two books you are going to read in the next two months in the comment section right so let's see some comments time for some gifts and let's say 1991 100% great kunal vyas uh, okay traders mindset i try 2020 20 of robin sharma set priorities okay okay keep sharing keep sharing waiting for the book nice learning reading a great habit to be included in 2019 agenda cash stacks rich dad poor dad looking for change your precious time for us are also very productive warren buffet cash stacks thank you market wizards 5 am by robin sharma great job that's my that's on my list as well and candlestick by steven sorn power of subconscious mind and habits of highly effective people that and shared sir your video gave lot of knowledge what you got here will get you what you got here will not get you there great book trading in the zone power of subconscious mind so let's say uh, i gave you uh Karan Gupta, Karan V Gupta, which that word app can candlestick and cash tag. What I'm going to give you is one thing. Okay, you have to mention your size, and this time I'm going you to give you a limited edition right now of this hoodie, uh, which I generally wear myself. I'm using this very often in my programs, and it has Malkaju logo, and this is going to be nice, warm, and it's winter time, so you are going to get your uh, hoodie. to your address very soon mention your size in the comment section or my team will get in touch with you so you get this kodi for free so so much of stuff let me give you one more gift is a uh, cash tag power of habit a monk who sold my ferrari the monk who sold his ferrari Rahul Garibe, Rahul Garibe, uh, all right, Rah Rahul Garib, what, whatever uh, the name is. Sorry for that. Rahul, you get one of my uh, my own design planner. This is three three planners which I have, and how you can use this. This is designed by us, and this is a productivity tool actually. If you fill up your first page in the morning, for second page in the evening, this will get your productivity to the roof. and it will help you stay focused 1991 is also mentioned in this book it's a part of the game so the whole thing plus you will get 1 hour on of video on how to use this book how to use this and this is 3 months so you can use for january february and march and see how things change in your life and this is going to be awesome so you are going to get one packet one fresh packet of this three books and rahul bhai so that's the gift for you i hope you guys are loving this and make sure now let me tell you generally when i do a technical uh, let me tell you honestly like i was thinking like when i do a technical talk because it involves training and it involves stock markets i usually have 200 250 people because that's about markets and money it's only half an hour at 9 o'clock so i get that kind of people and for this particular show which is like 6 to 9 and it does not talk about money yet it just talk about mindset and most people don't like it but you guys like 205 people right now 
there since one and half hour now one hour plus and i acknowledge and appreciate your time effort energy and your commitment to learn so that and your enthusiasm to learn that shows that's a great thing why most people right now must be having kind of kind of planning a long weekend already driving out to restaurants or movies and and watching simba but you guys are watching me so i thank you i appreciate you and you guys are awesome thank you so much for being there with me and keep sharing and keep tagging you can i haven't seen anybody tag people so you can tag other people from facebook so that they get the message so that they can come online so that's at least tag 10 people in your timeline and be there so that they can be live here right so let's get back to the business is productivity we need to work on the productivity side by changing our habit and the number one habit is reading start reading and let's get started with this all right great job now do you want to talk about money yes and say put the comment section like i love money right and that's the best affirmation you can have now i know some people get offended or some people don't like uh don't like that thing about money okay so money is green color perfect so now let me tell you something about money right and you know what when say people most the common challenge in everybody's life especially right now maybe in india 90% of people i would say are struggling for money and that's a that's a fact and that's a but so it, it it's like even though we are living in a uh, human world which is made of all human beings but i call it like a more of an economic planet that money is necessary and you know what the the best part about money is money is just a skill it's not luck it's not kind of talent now let me define what is skill and talent talent what we call as inborn talent like i am gifted like some musicians or some cricketers or some some artists most mostly creative spaces okay that's talent but when it comes to making money it's a skill now what is the if talent cannot be transferred to another person like if you are a great painter you can't teach the same level of painting to someone else you can teach the basic you can get better but you can't give the same but if there is a skill when i say skill is transferable which is which can be taught which can be done which can be uh, given to others in a in a structured way so that they learn and they can replicate the skill like i have trained so many people in last so many years on training because it's a skill and that's why we call the name as anybody can train like literally anybody can train so because then because it's i think it's a skill it's not a talent i have i'm not born with that talent i learned it and i can teach it that's why right. and once you understand the skill and i'm not talking about only about training and making money through stock markets there are so many skills to make money in especially in this age in this world where it's become so much so much more easy to make money now i know some of you don't agree on that but i can tell you that's the fact and that's the in the history of humanity this is the easiest time to make money where there is a a, a 16 year old youtuber on youtube producing local normal normal videos of doing whatever silly stuff is doing and millions of people watch it and youtube pays them like six digit seven digit income in dollars that's that's why i say it's easy if you have one talent one skill and you master that skill you can use the power of this social media which only going to increase and reach out to millions of people and make a lot of money so there is enough you can and at the same time if you want to learn any other skill from anywhere in the world you can learn on the internet on the youtube on the online programs like i have spent so much time and money in learning my upgrading my skill now the way i train and the way i train and the way i speak and the way i do videos it's not a talent i it's a skill which i learned from the best in the business that's why i'm able to do this make sense so now and i would like i would like you to consider this let's say instead of having this challenge of money 
year on year, month on month, and just making money, paying the bills, making money, paying the bills, making money, paying the bills, and then upgrade, upgrade slightly here and there. Why not sort out the problem of money in one year and done with it so that you can focus on other areas of life? And this is how I I got instigated. Like uh, every um, as a childhood, as a child, I was like every time you have you, you don't know you don't know much about money, but you you get this common phrase from your people, from your parents and your from your uh, guardians and from your teachers. And that's another problem I have with the Indian education system or most education system. They don't teach you how to make money. They teach you math, science, algebra, geometry, Hindi, geography, biology. And so that you become a better student, then you become, you get a better job, and then you become an employee, and then get more employment, go to the next level, get EMI, buy a house, get married, and have kids, and then die. So that's the usual stuff. No school is teaching you to become an entrepreneur, to become a businessman. You understand? That's where the most money is. So I am not comfortable with that. In fact, I'm thinking to take my son out of the school and do a homeschooling and put him into something else where he can scale up, right? No point. So that's a different discussion we can have later. So what I was thinking is, why not master the skill of making money? In fact, my son has a YouTube channel. He's a musician. Very soon, if he gets mastery level, you, it will start paying him. That's 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 how easy it can get. So you want to learn the best music? You can learn from the best person in the world from online program. Like I'm learning how to produce these videos and all this from my guru from online from US. Although I have attended live also, but I don't need to. Like I have so many students who are learning trading through my online programs. I've not even met them. So what are you complaining? So get this skill done. Let's say, how many of you would like to say, let's resolve money problem for once and for all in 2019. How many are ready for that? Say, I'm ready in the chat box. I want to see 200, I am ready in the chat box. Malkanji is teaching what schools are not teaching. Thank you so much. <laughs> they teach you how to work under someone, yes. I want 200 people to say I am ready. I understand only way to make good amount of money in stock market using technical analysis. I understand attending Vishal Malkan's program. Thank you so much. Sumita Ramesh. Uh, for your comment, you get ABCD ticket, anybody can trade program in Mumbai, 3rd, 4th and 5th of January. How you can start your 2019, the best year of your life, this would be the best time you can have. So Meeta Ramesh, you are going to get that free ticket. I am ready. Alright. I am ready. Alright, great job. And I haven't seen more people tagging more people, tag more people, right? And click your picture and put it in the comment section. Okay. Alright, right? So one is the skill part. Now let's say, how do you fix the money part? The first thing you need to understand about is something called as active versus passive money. Which I think you must be already knowing. But active money means how much you have to work for your money is active income versus how much is your money working for you is passive income. Like if you have a property and it's given on rent, it gives you, that's a passive income. If I have this book and it's, where it's already started so getting set, sold on, on various platforms. So I have written the book once. One of the best things I've done in my life, I think I'm proud of this because it's my 20 years of hard work into this book. All my uh, journey, struggles, lessons learned, of course some strategies and some great gurus lessons also. So this is going to be my passive income for the rest of my life and of course I'm going to write more books. And I have online programs which are getting sold as I'm talking here, somebody is buying my online program and I'm getting paid for it. That's passive income. And so if you have investment in stocks and stock, you buy a stock and it goes up, that's passive income or dividend income is passive. So you need to think in terms of how you can make your money work for you so that later you don't have to work for money. 
and that thing I so far even I was trading myself and I was doing my live events and I said this is active income I have to trade if I don't trade I don't make money I have to teach if I don't teach I don't make money so then I said I have to get into passive so what I have is a team of people who trade for me I have designed some systems so that I don't need to be there to make money and second I did online programs so without even me teaching you you are still learning from me that's passive so think how you can get into this passive mode how you can take make your money work for you so that you can be productive you can have great relationship you can have you have the skill of making money you are not dependent on your boss or your employer or your business or recession to make money so that's about active versus passive income you need to wait and second most important thing you know is where you spend your money let's say let me put it this way is spend versus invest most people spend money or they buy gadgets or buy stuff which which is there like depreciating values like car or house you can of course you can buy your own house but intelligent people wise people rich people they don't spend money on things which do not generate money now let me uh, i learned the hard the lesson hard in fact even i had the uh, i didn't know this and i bought my car and all that stuff but five years back but since last one year i am thinking to change my car but now i am not thinking like other people like oh i want to show this car to someone or i want to change this big car no so what i did is i am thinking thinking and then i say okay let me put that money first into my maybe make this best studio like this board is is an investment it's an expensive investment but this is investment because i am going to use this to teach my online programs to teach my students and so that is going to get me money more so this is going to be an investment whereas if i spent the money on the car it would be a depreciating value it would not make me feel happier than more than 2 days or 5 days or a week right so you need to understand uh, this is the spending money is the habit of poor people versus spend investing money is the habit of rich people as soon as you have money if you're sitting even if you're sitting on hard cash even if you're sitting money sitting in your bank it's a crime you need to put that money into something which will make more money it like stocks or bonds or or gold or whatever fits in your thing my my thing is about stocks i put money all my money into stocks so i i would put, because that's where the money will work hard for me and i'll make more money so you need to understand this thing it's a skill you need to invest like if i would generally like this is i don't know i i generally i buy things which are like down sale bargain discount offer so i'm very cheap like i don't use much i don't even wear watches or some stuff funky stuff but if you ask me i would buy the best board or the best camera or the best lighting or the best studio because that's an investment do you understand that's an investment so i i all this if you get this thing here i spent the amount of money i was spent on a new car i spent that almost like in last year in 18 i did like seven online programs two live events one in indonesia one in us my wife attended i attended in indonesia and other online programs all together it would be somewhere around of uh, $25000 you calculate that money more than that i guess but i spent on my own education on my own investment on my own upgrading this brain and this mind to give you better and trade better and learn better that's an investment which will get me more money now that i can buy the car so do you understand the thinking you need to have is and you need to teach this to your kids also and your family members also so you have to put money to work right you need to put money to work it's it's just it's how you make sense make are you are you learning something right are you learning something <clears throat> come on and of course like says vishwajit kopade uh, never depend on single income make an investment to create a second source so that's a great answer and you vishwajit kopade you get one more ticket to anybody you can trade mobile ABC the third fourth and fifth of January and why i say yes you need to have multiple sources of income which is 
your passive income your or leverage income your your linear income active income all kinds of income you need to have multiple sources of income so you are not dependent on one right so that's that's a great advice and that's why you get the gift so my team will get in touch with you don't worry if you haven't got it and money makes more money so we are going on the count on the lower side right so you need to boost that count and what about uh, let me know what's the time right now let's see the time is i can't even see the time here 7:20 7:20 so we are half pay mark right now so what about how about taking a 2 minute 2 minute break 